What if I told you the music video you're about to watch was created entirely with AI? Watch this. There was no real person involved everything, from the lyrics to the visuals to the animation, was made with AI. And today, I'm going to take you step by step through the process, so you can create your own cinematic AI music video. Alright, let's dive in. First, we need a prompt. This tells the AI exactly what kind of music video we want to create. It'll generate everything for us the cinematic visuals, the song lyrics, and even the animation movements. My prompt is focused on a soft, emotional, cinematic vibe, but you can switch yours to dark, energetic, or romantic, depending on your style. All right, let's see how it works. So once you have your version ready, just copy the full prompt on your screen, paste it into ChatGPT, and hit enter. It will automatically generate your visuals, lyrics, and animation in one go. If you want this exact prompt as a guide for your own project, just let me know in the comment section by typing I need prompt and I'll make it available for you. Remember, all you have to do is slightly edit it to match the kind of vibe or genre you're going for. So once everything is ready, the first thing we're going to do is create our music. To do that, simply copy the lyrics that ChatGPT generated and head over to your Chrome browser. Search for Suno AI, then sign in using your Google account. Once you're on the Suno AI interface, click on the music icon at the bottom and select custom mode. You'll see a space where you can paste your lyrics, go ahead and paste them in. Next, we'll add our music style. This part is really important because it helps shape how the final song will sound. If you're not sure what style to use, you can ask ChatGPT to generate a music style for you based on the lyrics you already have. Once you've added your style, scroll up, give your song a title, and when everything looks good, click on Generate. Now, wait for a few minutes while it processes. Suno AI will generate two different versions of your song using the same lyrics, but each will have a unique sound or tone. Listen to both versions carefully and pick the one that fits your vision best. You'll also notice that there are two extra songs on top. Those are premium versions that you can only access if you upgrade your account. They'll still let you preview them, so if you really like how they sound and want to take your AI music creation to the next level, you can consider upgrading. But if you're happy with the free version, simply select the song you want by clicking on the three dots beside it, then tap download and choose the MP3 format. Once your music is downloaded, the next thing we're going to do is create our visuals, our characters, the environment, and the scene we'll be using for the music video. So in order to create our visuals, you can use any AI image generator of your choice. I've made a lot of videos showing different AI image tools that work really well, but for today's tutorial, we're going to be using Canva. Just open your Canva app or use the web version, whichever is more convenient for you. So, once you're inside Canva, look at the top menu and you'll see an option labeled AI. Go ahead and click on Create an Image. You can see that I've already generated a few images here. Now, before we continue, let's select the image style we want. For this tutorial, I'll be using the cinematic style, but Canva also offers lots of other styles depending on the type of visuals you're going for. 
Next, choose your aspect ratio. Since we're creating a YouTube music video, select 16 to 9, that's the perfect landscape format. Once everything looks good, click the arrow icon on the right to generate your image. It doesn't take long. Canva usually loads your results within a few seconds. As you can see, Canva has generated four different images for us and the quality looks great. But I noticed something while generating earlier. Sometimes, the AI changes the character's face or style a bit, which can make the visuals look inconsistent across scenes. So here's a quick fix that actually works. Scroll through the images you've already generated, pick one that you really like, and download it. Then, click the plus icon to upload that image back into Canva. This will serve as your reference image, helping Canva maintain the same character look and feel across all your scenes. After uploading the reference, paste your next prompt. Now, this part is very important look for the reference strength options. You'll see three choices. The first one is, Subtle This One gives you more variation, but it won't perfectly match your reference image. The second one is Balance This keeps most of the original look but allows some changes. The third one is Strong This One keeps your new image very close to the original reference with only a few differences. Since we want our character to stay consistent throughout the music video, select Strong. Now, sometimes AI won't be 100% accurate, but as long as the differences are minimal, your scenes will still flow naturally and look like they belong in the same video. So, our image is ready now, and as I mentioned earlier, you can clearly see the resemblance. The generated image now looks almost identical to our reference image. Since Canva generated four different versions for us, Go ahead and pick the one you prefer and download it. Next, we'll move to the next scene. To do that, repeat the same process, upload your reference image again, paste your new prompt, and generate the next image. As you keep repeating this step for all your scenes, you'll notice something amazing. All your AI-generated images will maintain the same character design and overall look. This method is the best way to keep your character consistent across multiple scenes, even though AI might not be 100% accurate every single time. The slight variations you see are normal, but overall, your images will look uniform and professional. Once all our images are ready, the next step is to bring them to life. We don't want them to look static or still. I'm going to show you different ways you can make your images move and flow naturally. Let's start with the first method. This one is for those using Canva Pro. If you don't have Canva Pro, don't worry. I'll also show you how to animate your images using a free AI image to video generator later in this video. Now, for Canva users, open your Canva app and click on the AI option at the top. Then select Create a Video Clip. Once you're in, Click on the plus sign to upload the first image you'll be using. After your image has been uploaded, paste your animation prompt in the box provided. Next, select your video style. I'll be going with cinematic, but you can choose any style that fits the vibe of your project. Then, choose your aspect ratio since we're creating for YouTube. Select 16 to 9. After that, set the video duration, I'll be using 8 seconds because that's the available option here. Now, let's move to framing here. You can choose how you want your camera movement to look. Do you want a wide shot, a close-up, or maybe an overhead angle? Just pick the one that best fits your scene. Next, select your lighting. I'll go with soft lighting, but you can experiment with dark, warm, or any other lighting style you prefer. Once you're done with all that, Go ahead and click on the arrow icon to generate your video. Give it a few seconds to process, and boom. Your AI-generated video is ready. Look at that, it's beautiful. All created just by uploading your image, pasting your prompt, and making a few simple adjustments. So our video turned out exactly how we wanted, just like the prompts we added.
Now, once you've previewed your clip and you're satisfied with the result, go ahead and click on the download button that's the arrow facing down icon to save your clip. Next, we're going to do the same thing for our second image. Simply upload your next image, paste in your new prompt, and repeat the same steps select your video style, aspect ratio, framing, lighting, and duration, just like I explained earlier. Then click on Generate and wait for it to process. Once it's ready, preview your video again. If you're happy with the outcome, download it directly. But if you're having trouble downloading, don't worry, there's a quick fix. You can share your video to yourself on WhatsApp. Just click on the share icon, send the video to your WhatsApp chat, and then save it directly from there. Once you're done animating all your clips and you're satisfied with how they look, let's move on to what I promised earlier. If you're not using Canva Pro, this is the part for you will be using a free AI image to video generator called Pixverse AI. So open your Chrome browser and search for Pixverse AI, then sign in with your Google account. Once you're logged in, you'll get 120 free credits, which is enough to create multiple animated clips. Now, once you're inside the Pixverse interface, look at the three lines at the top left corner of the screen and click on it. From the menu, select Video. You'll see an image icon. That's where you'll upload your image. So go ahead and upload the picture you want to animate. Next, describe how you want your video to look by pasting or typing your animation prompt in the box below. Then select the length of your video you can choose between 5 seconds or 8 seconds. Keep in mind, 5 seconds uses 20 credits, which means you can create around 6 videos with your free credits. 8 seconds uses more credits, so you'll be limited to about 3 videos. That's why I recommend going for 5 seconds if you have many images to animate. Once everything is set, click on Create and give it a few minutes to process. And boom, your animated video is ready. Preview the clip and if you're satisfied with how it looks, click on the Download button to save it. If you experience any issue downloading directly, Use the method I mentioned earlier, simply share the video to yourself on WhatsApp, and once it's sent, you can save it directly from WhatsApp. It's a super easy way to access your file if download doesn't work. All right, let's try it out one more time. I'm going to animate another image so you can see the process again in action. It's still the same exact steps as before, but I just wanna walk you through it quickly so you don't miss anything. So, I'll go ahead and upload my next image, paste in my animation prompt, just like we did earlier. Then I'll hit Create and wait a few seconds for it to generate. And there it is, another beautiful animation. You can see how smooth and consistent it looks, and the best part is that we've maintained the same character across all scenes. Now, go ahead and repeat this same process for the rest of your images until you've animated everything for your music video. So now it's time for the final stage editing and putting everything together. We'll be using CapCut for this, but you can use any video editing app of your choice. Go ahead and open CapCut, click on New Project, and import all the animated clips we created earlier. Next, select your aspect ratio for YouTube. We'll use 16 to 9. If you notice extra space above or below your clips, just use your fingers to pinch and expand the video until it fits perfectly. Now, let's clean up the audio. Tap on each clip, click on volume and reduce or mute the sound completely. That way, we'll only hear our music track without any background noise from the AI animations. Once that's done, we're going to slow down the speed of each clip. This is super important because it helps the visuals flow smoothly with the rhythm of our music, especially if your song has a calm, cinematic vibe. After that, click on Audio, select Sounds, then choose Device and import the music we created earlier using Suno AI. Next, let's add a little magic. Tap on your first clip, 
go to animation and choose any animation that fits your song's emotion. Then, between each clip, tap on the white line and add transitions. You can search for cinematic or dreamy transitions to keep everything visually appealing. If you'd like, you can also add text overlays, maybe your song lyrics, title, or even your channel watermark. Just click text, type what you want, choose your favorite font, color, and text animation, and adjust it to fit your clip. When everything looks perfect, go to export at the top right corner. I recommend exporting in 1080p for the best balance of quality and speed, but if you want extra crisp visuals, you can export in two Kelvins. And that's it. You just created a fully AI-generated cinematic music video from the lyrics to the visuals, animation, and sound all without needing a single camera or studio setup. If you found this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and drop a comment saying I made mine. I'd love to see what you create. See you in the next video.